It's time for Wrestling for the Culture, where we take a look inside to see what the wrestlers of color have been doing this week. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this edition of Wrestling for the Culture. I'm your host, Brian H. Waters, highlighting the wrestlers of color this week. But before we get started, I got to make sure you are knowing where to follow us each and every week. Follow us at the Wrestling Realm on Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling Realm. If you look right on your lower thirds, that's how you spell it. W, if you're just listening, W. Added with R E A L M for the literal folks out there, such as ourselves. And make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, and Podbean. When you subscribe, you will always get each and every episode. And make sure you hit the bell to notify you if you're right here on YouTube. Hit the bell to notify you that we have dropped a new episode. So let's get right into today's episode. First, we're going to start off with Mark Henry, WWE Hall of Famer Mark Henry, for those who may have forgotten. The Cauliflower Alley Club is pleased to announce that he will be uh, honored at this year's upcoming CAC reunion with the 2019 Cauliflower Alley Club Iron Mike Award. So congratulations to Mark Henry. Just some notable names who also received this award. WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus. Now another Hall of Famer, Tully Blanchard, the Russian Bear, Ivan Koloff, and one of the greatest talkers in professional wrestling history, Nick Bockwinkle. So congratulations to Mark Henry on getting this award. If you've been watching his whole career, you know he's one of the greatest performers. There is a reason that he is in the WWE Hall of Fame. There's also a reason that he had a long contract. I mean, when you look at guys like Triple H, Undertaker, up until recently, Mark Henry is in the WWE forever. So congratulations to him. All right, let's move on. Some action in the WWE this week. We saw Nia Jax and Tamina defeat Sasha and Bayley. So the team of Sasha and Bayley, you know, They've been doing well. Um, I know people have been calling for their breakup, but I guess what do you do? Is there any context there? We'll have the real Dwayne Allen have to get him back on the show to talk about that. But nonetheless, um, Nia Jax and Nia Jax and Tamina, a team of force to be reckoned with. We know Nia Jax has a title match coming up with Ronda Rousey soon, and I think having Tamina behind in her back could give Rousey her first loss. But before we get into that, you know, like I said, they got the victory. But something interesting happened on the gram. Somebody made a sign and it says, and I'll read it out. Naya, I feel completely compelled to stress that we are not booing you because of your effective heel work. We are booing you because you are simply awful. So anybody who knows, knows how I feel about that. It's one thing to say you don't like a wrestler's work. Calling him awful, eh? guess what? You do it yourself. But nonetheless, everybody's entitled to their opinion. The interesting thing is, if you're looking at the screen, ladies and gentlemen, here on YouTube at Wrestling Realm, you will see that Sasha Banks like this. That is her official uh, Instagram, Sasha Banks WWE. Now, we see this in the NBA all the time. Kevin Durant recently liked the status that said Draymond, if they Warriors trade Draymond, they will be fine. We see this in um, sports. People like other statuses and images that talk bad about competition or sometimes teammates. And this right here, you know, maybe this is a work. Who knows? Maybe, you know, but we tend to believe that the wrestlers or the superstars have control of their own social media. So this is interesting. I'd be interested to see how this plays out. Sticking and moving on over to uh, SmackDown Live, we saw Naomi and Asuka continue their winning ways as they defeated Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Um, this is a good tag team. If there's a tag team division coming, one, I don't want to see it split. I think you should have the tag team division with on both sides. But this is a team that would be favored to win. Or this could be a setup to break them up later. Who knows? 
The New Day, they were victorious, finally getting a win over the bar that included the Big Show as they had a, I guess, a Thanksgiving melee. Um, one thing that's interesting, as you see the New Day dressed up in their costumes, they made sure, you know, the word going around is that Smith Raw was 6-0. and oh. New Day said, uh-uh, don't forget, we won. He was on the pre-show, but guess what? We won, so therefore, Raw was actually 6-1. and one. And... Round this off of the WWE. Shout out to the big dog, Roman Reigns. As we've said time and time again, we are praying for him and hopes that, you know, Roman will defeat Leukemia. He can and he will. So I'm sending my prayers out along with the others who are doing so as well. So let's move on to the independents. So Kieta Murray, I hope I pronounced that right, had a great week this week as he became the new PPW No Limits Champion. And, whoa, hit the wrong button. If you've been paying attention, if I can get it right to the screen, you will know that he was recently on SmackDown this week. And guess what? He and his partner defeated The Miz and Shane McMahon. How often do you see, as they say, two local competitors defeat two WWE superstars and surefire Hall of Famers in both Shane and The Miz? So congratulations to Murray becoming the new PPW No Limits Champion. So moving on this week, Willow Nightingale, what a week it's been for her. Her and her partner, Brandon Watts, defeated Kimberly and Bull James. They are no, they are two third well two fifths i believe of the culture um the team that's uh you know doing what we do here on the round they doing they're putting on for the culture up there at nywc so um congratulations to them and then this week at wrestlecade her and her partner faye jackson also known as thick and juicy retain their queens of combat tag team championship and then moving on staying right there wrestlecade we saw impact wrestling's own from lax diamante defeat sue young to become the new queens of combat champion ending sue young's reign up over 720 days so congratulations to her and then we also saw the one and only miss brandy rhodes go ahead and become you know go remain this time i should say not remain she is five and oh yes brandy rhodes five and oh ladies and gentlemen this uh since her return from injury and stand right here rounding out actually say officially rounding out our independent circuit there we have mercedes blaze defeating sadie or sade gibbs to remain the russell force champion so congratulations to mercedes blaze retaining her championship now let's move on to bwa presents and news brought to you by the black wrestling alliance make sure you follow them on instagram each and every week or actually say each and every day my man over there is providing you with content for about the wrestlers of color whether it is wwe uh he's based in the uk so he's also providing you especially somebody like myself who's not familiar with that scene over there of course you hear about the guys named will osprey people like that but you don't always hear about the wrestlers of color over there unless you're watching wwe uk where you see ashton smith but the BWA, the Black Wrestling Alliance, make sure you get all of that information. So, where we start? Right here with the new uh, FTF World Championship as Fry Daddy defeated Prince Apollo to become the second ever FTF World Champion. Congratulations to him. And then we also saw Rio become the new title wrestling women's champion tasha steals won the chaotic wrestling women's championship beating skylar to become the new champion 
The main event, Duke Davis and G. Jones Jr. become the Cleveland, become, I should say, the Cleveland's new premier championship tag team champions. Then in Florida, we saw Mikey Spandex and Dante Marquise Carter, also known as Task Force, become the new Go Wrestle Tag Team Champions. Camaro Jackson and Kenny Alfonso, also known as Alpha Omega, become the new Proven Ground, Pro, Proven Ground Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions. And my boy Frankie Pritchard, Prickert, I'm sorry, Frankie Pickard becomes the new and first ever SWF Live Pro Wrestling Entertainment. Uh, what's this? Standing, standalone wrestling and pro wrestling after dark trifecta champion. So Frankie over there racking up the titles. And then last but not least, Michael Tarver. You know, he won the CWE World Championship, but apparently he lost it after the title. There was a cash in. So, but that will round out the BWA and news section of Wrestling for the Culture. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are subscribed to the Wrestling Realm. Make sure you are following us each and every week right here on youtube make sure you are subscribed to itunes google play spotify stitcher and podbean as well and guess what if you have submissions for wrestling for the culture be sure to hit me up send them in you know um make sure you know sometimes i'll be honest with you i might not know how to pronounce everybody's name i'm just being real send me the pronunciation um dm me I'm at Brian H. Waters, DM the Wrestling Realm at Wrestling Realm. Let us know. You know, you say, look, I got some stuff for the culture. I want to present this. I'll be more than happy. You know, this is not just for me. It's for everybody. I want to make sure that we are giving our wrestlers of color. And I can say that I'm proud that, you know, I started this in January. Actually, I was in California on my shoot job the week of the AFC NFC Championship game uh, on the plane ride. I said, hey, I want to do this thing, wrestling for the culture. And right there start off as just articles and you know it's evolved in august it evolved to youtube so just trying to give you guys something to see wrestlers of color are out there now where they go from here only time will tell so ladies and gentlemen make sure you are tuned in to break it down with brian h this week Make sure if you didn't check out last week's episode, I had the real Dwayne Allen himself right on after the Survivor Series. So maybe you just watched Survivor Series or, you know, whether guess what? You should listen to that show because even if you didn't, you haven't heard from the real Dwayne Allen since probably about last year. Unless you followed us to BlurCon or you tuned in to Mikel uh, Ramos rolling with Ramos where she had both of us on that or you tuned into the episode of the Flex Zone it's been a while since you heard from him so I promise you you will want to listen to that because he has a lot of cool things to say especially about a couple of your favorites the Velveteen Dream and Sasha Banks and he'll have you rethinking your thoughts till the next time folks I'm Brian H. Waters so long everybody